Kanze. Nia Meskiki Esquiteo Esqueo. Good morning. My name is Shanina Loss, Medicine Firewoman, and I am speaking to you on this recording this morning from the traditional territories of the Enklapmat Nation. I've been asked to share what a ribbon skirt means to me and on the recent shaming of the young girl at school wearing her ribbon skirt um, really touched my heart. And so with that, I made a ribbon skirt and infused um, my prayers and intentions into that skirt uh, for that little girl and to use that skirt um, as a sharing tool to uh, educate the people about our culture, about what the rib- ribbon skirts represent and what they mean to me. Um, I've made several ribbon skirts for several different occasions. In all culture, it's always about um, reciprocation. So if I've been invited to a gathering or to speak at a conference um, or to share my story somewhere, I'll quite often um, make a ribbon skirt particularly for that event. And with that, I will make sure I am smudging and I will be calling in my ancestors to watch over me as I create this ribbon skirt infused with love and my intentions for the event that I've been invited to. And then when I wear that skirt, you know, to me, it's like as a woman in a world nowadays where it feels so unsafe to be a woman, I feel like it's like a piece of armor. So when I, you know, walk in the doors, I'm adorned with this protection and love and intention from the weaving of um, creating that that ribbon skirt. I also have skirts that have been made for me. My first ribbon skirt was made for me by my elder, which gave me the right um, to then make my own with the teachings that came with that. And there's lots of different teachings from the different you know tribes and nations and the different elders, how they were brought up as well. Um, and so with that, I just leave you with that note of, um, the beauty of the ribbon skirt and it can mean so much depending on who makes it, the intentions that go into it, the colors that they use. And, um, ideally, you know, that's what it's all about the same way as we used to make the talking sticks and whatnot, right? It was created, um, with attention and uh, intention in mind. So, um, and I also would just like to add, Um, in there that every opportunity is a a learning opportunity you know instead of taking a situation like what happened with the little girl at her school and shaming the teacher and you know shaming the school it's that's not the way that we need to do things we need to do it in a good way and look at it as a learning opportunity for everyone and so I um I believe that perhaps next year, that date, which would have been December or January 4th, uh, will be, we'll start creating an international ribbon skirt day. So then that way there could be a higher level of education, um, whether it's just provincial wide, Canada wide, nationwide. Um, and so it's seizing these opportunities uh, so that we can educate for the higher good so our traditions and culture aren't lost and better understood. Oma, thank you so much for having me.